Africa has seen several waves of immigration from China with early generations of migrants fleeing extreme poverty at home and newer arrivals seeking business opportunities. Kate Bartlett has the story about Chinese South Africans who have established businesses in Johannesburg's old and new Chinatowns. From dark to dim sum, the kitchen inside Shonday restaurant in Johannesburg gives Chinese immigrants a little taste of home. Hong Kong native and restaurant owner Kun Chan immigrated to South Africa almost 40 years ago. It was easy to make money in South Africa back then. Chan used to have a restaurant in the old original Chinatown. He closed that business because people got scared going to the old Chinatown due to crime. Chinese migrants have been living in Johannesburg before the old Chinatown was even built. The first Chinese arrived in the 17th century as convicts or slaves from what is now Indonesia with the Dutch East India Company. Then, during the early 1800s, Chinese indentured laborers were brought to work on the railways. The original Chinatown on Commissioner Street was established in the 1880s when free Chinese from the impoverished south of China came to the frontier mining town as part of the gold rush. Then, in 1948, South Africa established the apartheid system. Chinese living in the country were classified as colored. Like black South Africans at the time, they were restricted to living in certain areas, but much has changed. Apartheid ended and a democratic government was formed in 1994. How ethnic Chinese immigrants from different backgrounds see each other also changed, says Arthur Ma. Before, say 20 years ago, you could feel it because we don't even really speak to each other, the new and the old one. We just stick to our own selves, the local Chinese and the overseas China. Now, we help one another. Ma is a first-generation Chinese South African. His father fled poverty in southern China and arrived by boat in 1942. As life improved here, he sent money back home. Then we actually helped build a hospital, give a little bit of donation in our own village. Now, Johannesburg's ethnic Chinese community includes people from Taiwan and Hong Kong. And as China opens up and prospers, there are new immigrants from mainland China. Anything we need help, we always ask the new one, because they're the ones with the money, you see, because China's going good. But we pave the road for them in this country. Now there is a new, safer Chinatown, where more Chinese gather in the suburb of Cyrildine. South African-born doctor Alice Yulin Fan's parents moved from Taiwan in the 1980s. My dad and my aunt um, opened up factories in Bloemfontein and then afterwards they opened up restaurants. So quite Yulin Fan and Chan's children and grandchildren can now live where they choose to live in the city. Many have professional jobs but still come to the new Chinatown where Chan has relocated his restaurant. Eating. Celebrating festivals. Events that bring ethnic Chinese from different backgrounds together to keep traditions alive. Kate Bartlett, VOA News, Johannesburg.